as of today, I am officially 23 weeks pregnant. Woohoo! That being said, being pregnant, sometimes I'm exhausted when dinner time comes around. So I'm sharing with you my five ingredient dinners. Super simple, super easy. Let's just jump right in. So the first recipe I'm making for you today is called margarita pizzas. All right, now you have a few options when it comes to this pizza. You can either get a pre-made crust that is nice and big and will feed your whole family, or I like to do individual. So this is my little Egg McMuffin. You don't have to use Egg McMuffin. You can also use, they make smaller pizza crusts or even non bread is delicious with this. We're gonna make little individual ones today. For this recipe, I like to use fresh mozzarella. We have some tomatoes right out of the garden, which is my favorite. We need some basil. And then I'm using English muffins today. And then some marinara sauce or pizza sauce, whatever you wanna use. My kids like it when I use the pasta sauce. So that's what we're doing. And then you can either use balsamic vinegar or a little bit of olive oil. Now, you all know how to do this part. We're just gonna take a little bit of marinara sauce, whoopa, and put it on English muffin. Now, my kids love this because if they don't like tomatoes or if they don't like basil, they don't have to do it. So that's why I like these little individual ones. So they can kind of pick and choose what they want on. Next, I'm gonna put the tomato on for those that want a tomato. And this is a giant tomato. If you have smaller tomatoes, that works just as well. All right, this is actually where I'm gonna add a little bit of my balsamic vinegar. Oh, for some reason, <laughs> being pregnant, balsamic vinegar, I cannot get enough of it. You know the store, they didn't have the best options for basil, so I'm just gonna put a few or one <laughs> basil leaves on, just because I love basil and balsamic right now. Mm, these are so good. We are ready for the oven. These are looking good. You can see this is my kid version, but my kids will still eat this. All right, we're gonna cook these at 425. We're gonna check them in about five minutes. All right, when it's done, whew, your cheese will be a little melty. This looks so good. So if you've seen my four-year-old, she's usually the taste tester and she's my pickiest child out of everyone. That being said, she didn't want to taste test these today. Just throwing it out there. These are not necessarily kid friendly, but they sure are mom friendly, adult friendly, everyone else friendly. <laughs> All right guys, let's taste it. Mm, so good, so, so good. Because this is one of my favorite foods, especially when I'm pregnant, giving it a five. The next recipe I'm making is mini taco cups. Now, these are super simple and you can add meat if you want to, but you don't have to. The five ingredients for this one include some taco seasoning. I like black beans. We also have some refried beans, some tortillas, and then some cheddar cheese on top. Now, you can add chicken to this. You can use canned chicken. I love to use the shredded chicken. This is actually just at Walmart, super cheap. It's great. You get a good view there. <laughs> That's okay. Okay, so first we're gonna take my refried beans and just pour it into a little bowl. Sometimes they are sticky. You know what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'm gonna take my taco seasoning, just dump it right into that bowl. Now I'm not gonna use the whole packet because it's kind of strong, so I'm gonna use about half of it. And if you know me, you know I like to eyeball all the things. Okay, and we're just gonna mix the taco seasoning into the beans. Now for the fun part. So I have my little muffin tin here and I have my, my tortillas. Now I heated them up in the microwave because we want to make them into little cups. So we're just going to kind of make them into cups. I like to press down the bottom so it's a little flat on the bottom. I don't know if you can see this very well, but yes, kind of press it down. So we'll just do that a few times. We'll just do three right now, just so I can show you. Then we're gonna add just a spoonful of the refried beans, just right into the bottom. Mm, I love refried beans. Now, if you don't like beans, you can definitely just use the chicken for this, but I, you're missing out. If you don't like beans, it's all I gotta say. No, I'm kidding, I'm totally kidding. All right, then I'm gonna add some black beans in here too, because it just makes it good. So I just literally just do a scoop 
of black beans. Next up is just a little bit of cheddar cheese on top. We're gonna stick these in the oven. We want our cheese nice and melty. All right, you're gonna bake these at 350 degrees for about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna go five minutes just to melt the cheese. Now, you can leave them just like this. This is, this is your five ingredients, but you guys, it's tacos. <laughs> I need a few toppings, so I apologize. If you add topping, they will be more than five ingredients. I'm gonna add a little bit of tomatoes because I love tomatoes. Then a little bit of lettuce. And then like sour cream. I like a little bit of avocado. There we go. This is our awesome taco cup. All right, Ensley, you got a taco cup. Okay. Ready to rank it? Thumbs up, thumbs down, thumbs in the middle. I really like it. Thumbs it up. Good. Yeah, you're my taco girl, huh? Mm -hmm. The last recipe I'm making is our honey garlic pork chops. Now, a lot of you have been asking for pork chops, so I thought I'd give you an easy one today. So for the pork chops, we're gonna start with obviously pork chops. Now, we're gonna have a little bit of garlic. We have one cup of ketchup, some soy sauce, and this is honey. This is mm, some homemade honey. So we're gonna preheat our little skillet. You can do the grill too, but sometimes the skillet is fun. So we're gonna go about 375 or 400 is where I'm cooking it at. Sometimes if you hear whining, it usually is the dog knowing that I'm cooking food up here, huh? <laughs> Good boy. All right, so in a little bowl, we're gonna mix about one cup of ketchup. You guys know me, I eyeball a lot. That looks like a cup about a third cup of honey. And I do not like measuring honey in a measuring cup because I lose most of it. So we're gonna eyeball this too, about a third cup. And then we're just gonna add about two cloves of minced garlic or like two, two teaspoons or so. All right, then you're gonna mix this all together. Then we're gonna do a fourth cup of soy sauce. Now soy sauce is one of those things that I will measure because you don't wanna get too much of this. So we're going to take our little pork chop. Our skillet is all nice and heated up. So we're going to just brush on this sauce. Oh, it <laughs> smells so good. And we're gonna flip it over and just let it cook. I'm gonna brush the other side too while it's doing that side. All right, and then you're just gonna do it to all of them. Then we're just gonna cook them about five minutes on each side. We want the internal temperature at 145. All right, you guys are done. All right, Ansley is up. This is pork chop. Okay, let's try it. I like pork chop. Yeah? It's good and chewy. Mm. Thumbs up, thumbs down? Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Five out of five. Nice. All right, you're gonna try pork chop too? Okay. Okay. Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. <laughs> I'm it to myself. Thumbs up, woohoo! I'll give it a six. A six, that's your first six, awesome. All right, if you want more simple recipes, I have three ingredient recipes, which are even better you can find right up there. All right, we'll see you later.